Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? 98 degrees. That's what it is outside right now. I am not used to this heat. Oregon did get hot, but you know, for a couple days, and that would be like at peak summer. Right now, it's still May. So we still have June, July, August, which are always the hottest months of the year. And it's already hitting up to 100. I know later this week, it's supposed to be 108 which is insane right now we did bring the car out if you guys saw last video we have a ton of bugs on this car and this does not look good right now i've never let the car get this bad but it was a 13 hour drive damn when did i curve my wheel what the heck yeah we need to take care of that but we are looking for a car wash it's super hard to find a car wash i found this one but it's not a touchless car wash which is what i thought it would be so I'm currently looking for a car wash where I can self-wash it myself. I like washing it myself. It's really easy to get all the bugs off of it when you do it that way. It's so crazy being out in Vegas. You see stuff like this and it's normal over here. And the plan for today's video is I do want to explore the city. I do want to go down the strip. The strip is always active. There's always a lot of people. That's like the main tourist attraction. So we are going to be taking the Super out there. I do want to go down the strip and record our POV driving down Vegas in case some of you guys have never actually been down to Vegas. So you guys can experience it with me. I came to Vegas once, but I didn't have my car. We were just walking around, me and G. And that was a couple months ago. But now, luckily, we do have the car. Enough talking. Let's go visit the city and see how it's like. Well, guys, lucky for us, we were able to find a car wash only five minutes from the house. And I drove right past it. So where I started the vlog, it's like five minutes down that road over there. And we live on this side, which we totally drove right past this place. So let's go ahead and wash up the car. It desperately needs this. After that, we can go ahead. It might be too early to go down the strip. It doesn't get active until like around like 7 p.m. Just like that, looks like we have a brand new car. Look at how clean it looks. I'm almost debating, do we even dry the car? Or is it gonna dry itself by the time we leave? Cause it's super hot. I feel like you guys are gonna hear me say that every clip. So if you guys get annoyed at me saying that, just know, a little warning, I'll probably say it until I get used to it cause it is really humid. I think I'll grow to like it. I'm not a fan of it being cold, windy, or rainy like in Oregon. So I think I'm gonna actually like the heat over here. We're not gonna be lazy. We are gonna dry the car. So let's go ahead and dry it up before we get any water spots. I know that when we went racing, we had a bunch of water spots. I kept getting cold out on it. I don't wanna have that happen again. Let's go ahead and dry the car and we should be out of here in like five minutes. Sadly, the car wash did not clean it as good as I thought it would. We did scrub it, so we did do that. It's just the bugs are super embedded into the paint. That looks like I'm finally gonna have to do a paint correction on this car. I've been putting off doing a paint correction for so long, but I think I'm finally gonna do it. Just to get it over with, the paint is pretty bad on this car. Ton of swirl marks, which I do not like, especially being out here. I do want it to be a little bit better. We got the car all cleaned up. It's funny how fast the car dries out here. By the time I finished up wiping this side down, the other side was already dry. And now that we are in Vegas, we do have our first car meet coming up in three days. So by the time you guys see this, I'll already have a vlog ready for that car meet. And apparently I was told that they start super early here. So we're gonna wake up at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. is a little too early for us, but I was already told to expect super cars a bunch of Supras. Over where I was from, I was the only Supra at every show. So I'm excited to meet a lot more Supra owners. We went to get a couple essentials at the stores, but I actually forgot a ton of things. I felt like I was in a rush and I completely forgot to get a lot of stuff. And I was saying, now that we are in Vegas, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. There's so much to film, a ton of cars. The car scene here is huge. But for this video, we are gonna explore the city, drive down the strip, drive down, get you guys some POV. Like I told you guys in the beginning, if you guys have never been here, I want you guys to kind of experience what it feels like to be out here. So let's go ahead and hit the road. What I'm starting to realize now is how close everything is to each other. So the car wash was back there, right behind this building, and in and out is on the other side of the building. GPS shows that we're about 15 minutes away, but you can kind of see where all the buildings are at. So we're pretty close. One thing I do want to do while I'm out here is visit the LA car scene as well. So LA is only about four hours, I believe I was told, from Vegas. And there is a lot of big name YouTubers out there that do automotive stuff. Damn, I think we just hit traffic. Oh, yeah, nine minutes. Well, that's not good. Our first traffic jam while being here. 
I think we need to make it to this other side. Oh, yep. I need to sneak in somewhere. I'm gonna just wait for the semis and just scoot in. <laughs> it's only my second day out here, but I'm honestly starting to like Vegas a little more. Last time I came, I didn't really enjoy it. It was probably because I didn't have my car, so I couldn't do car activities, which is what I love to do. But now that I do, just driving around the city, it feels so nice. Six minutes until we can actually get down to the strip, it shows that there's a ton of traffic. So that's what's holding us back, or else we would have already been inside. It is only Thursday, so I doubt there's gonna be any nice cars out. I did wanna do this video around this time though, so we don't hit that rush when everyone's getting off work. I think this was a smart thing to do. If it's already this bad right now, imagine when everybody gets off work. I have a ton of cars behind me, in front of me, and this car is getting a lot of attention. I didn't think I would get as much attention as it's getting, only because there is a lot of expensive cars in this city. I had one guy already uh, come up to me, which was pretty cool. He was just asking about the car. We can finally start to see all the hotels, the stadium. Damn, that thing is huge. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm in the correct lane. I'm just kind of following all the cars in front of me. I've never driven down these streets, so I'm still learning. For now, we're just gonna be following all the cars. We have no rush, so even if we get lost, I guess it gives us something to do to try to find our way out. Okay, four minutes. We're basically there then. But one thing we are a little concerned about is I'm not sure if I'm in the right lane. It looks like I am, so I'm gonna just keep following this truck in front of me, to be honest. Once we get to the strip, I don't think we're gonna stop. I think we're just gonna drive through it. I don't really, last time I went to the strip walking, I kind of got a bad experience. There's just a lot of sketchy people, which I didn't really like, and it was pretty uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, even as a guy, like I felt uncomfortable. So we're just gonna drive down it. We should still be able to get some good footage. Oh shoot, Lisa, if we have to turn this way. All right, no cars. Ooh. Let's turn again, no cars. Damn it, I think we missed it. I don't know why I stopped following the truck. We totally went the wrong freaking way. Uh, let's go straight, we got nothing to lose. Let's go ahead and go this way. <laughs> We're trying to go down the road that's right under us. I believe it's right under us. There's no way we actually missed it. We were paying so close attention to. Oh, this is a nice view though, look at this. Wow, we actually went the right way. I, th I thought we totally missed it, but it looks like we actually came the, the way we were trying to come. Oh, yep, here's the strip all the way straight. Let's see. We're gonna pick a car and just stay behind it. Hopefully they don't think we're following them. But we're just newbies here. All right, let's let this car pass. Okay, look, we found a C8 right there, a red one. Pretty nice. Our first somewhat supercar. I mean, it's still a Corvette, but it still looks clean as hell. Oops, sorry, guy. Let's get into this lane. It's only 2 p.m. and people are already out walking. That's crazy. What are the odds the Corvette ended up pulling up right next to us? More like two cars behind, but next to us. Let's see if we can get a footage of him flying by. I'm gonna try to hold up traffic. I hate to be that guy, but I do want to get a footage of him flying by. It's pulling up right next to us. Damn, that thing is so clean. At least you know it's not a rental. He has his own custom plate. These have to all be tourists. There's no way people are just walking at 2 p.m. I wonder what's going on over here. It looks like there's a lot of cops. Hopefully no crash. No oh, that's where the sphere is at. We came last time and we didn't see it. Damn, imagine how much money it cost to make that. I don't even think I can guess how much money went into making that sphere. I'm not even gonna try to guess. I don't wanna get flamed. We haven't seen any supercars sadly, and I think the strip, I think it's almost over. We definitely have to come back on the weekend. That's when there's gonna be a ton down here. Damn, that thing looks sick up close. It's 
kind of crazy to me how well the car has been. Even though we went racing a couple days ago, went on a 13 hour road trip and it still drives like if it was brand new. That kind of tells you these cars are pretty reliable. Although they get the BMW comments and hate all the time. I honestly love this car. I don't see myself selling it unless I were to get a crazy offer that I couldn't resist. But we're not missing this turn again. Let's go ahead and go over here. Because I didn't tell you guys, but we kind of missed our turn already. I'm not trying to miss another one. Let's see. No cars. Let's send it. We're basically back home and bad news number one. We did not see a single supercar. Honestly, that's what I was looking forward to when we went down there, but I didn't have high hopes. It is Thursday. It was like 2 p.m. I doubt supercar owners were gonna be driving down the strip at this time. And bad news number two, it's something that is totally out of control as well. It's still getting hotter right now. It's like 102. I'm over here wearing all black while it's 102 degrees outside. I think we're gonna head back home. I'm definitely not gonna be outside all day in this heat. The plan is to go home for a little bit. Hopefully it cools down by tonight and we'll bring the super back outside. It is nighttime already, but I do not think we're gonna take the car out anymore. It feels a lot better than how it felt earlier today. We are gonna call it a day. I am editing this vlog. As you can see, I have the AirPods still on, but I'm gonna get this video out for you guys. Next video you guys should be seeing I think we're gonna be fixing this lip because this thing is hanging a little too loose. Next video, we are gonna be fixing this up and we'll see you guys then.